Welcome back to another video. Today we are playing Jojo Golden Records, and we will obtain D4C Love Train in this video. The first step is to obtain D4C using the Saints Rib Cage. We can find them by digging up Saint Debris in the Stardust Desert. We will need a shovel to do that, and we can purchase them for $500 each. What is that? That is the Warden of the Saints Corpse. It will sometimes appear when we are digging up sand debris. It is unkillable, so we can only run or die. I found the ribcage first try. The chance of finding one is 20%, so it's not that surprising I guess. Now let's use it and obtain D4C. D4C, D4C has most of the standard skills. Its heavy attack is slightly different. It stuns the enemy instead of knocking them back, allowing you to continue your attacks. The two special skills are Dimension Hop and Dimensional Clone. Dimension Hop allows you to enter your dimension and become completely invisible to others. You can use this skill to run or perform a surprise attack on your enemies. Dimensional Clone creates clones of yourself. They follow you around and attack anybody close to them. You can also change their fighting styles by using the H skill. Switching bang, bang, to range bang, will bang, make bang, them bang, use bang, a gun, and switching to melee will make them engage in close range combat instead. Idle makes them go AFK until you change their behavior again. You can also heal yourself by swapping with a clone. You will teleport to a random clone's position, which can help you escape enemies attacks. Now let's evolve D4C into Love Train. To do that, we will need to dig up sand debris until we find the saint's heart. It is a legendary item, and the chance of finding one is 2%. To make things worse, shovels can only be used once, and since they are pretty expensive, we oh no. might run out of money before we can find the heart. Nope. Another one. Unfortunately, we ran out of cash before we could find the heart. I sold most of my items to the merchant, 
so we could afford a few more shovels. Fortunately, we managed to find the heart right after selling all my items. Now let's use it, and evolve D4C. D4C keeps all of its old skills before evolution, but gains a special ability called Love Train. It reflects all incoming damage to a random person. You cannot attack while using Love Train except for your clothes, but they can die due to Love Train's randomness, so they probably won't stay alive for a very long time. Love Train's max duration is around 10 seconds, and you must hold down its key for it to last longer. The max amount of clones you can summon also increases from 2 to 4. I tried to fight Jotaro with them supporting me, and I have to say that this skill is incredibly strong. He was stunned half of the time, and couldn't time stop, since the clones kept cancelling it. I managed to kill Jotaro in under 3 minutes, and got some good rewards. Jotaro spawned again while I was collecting my rewards. We are already low from the previous fight, so I think we might lose this time. Oh no! We somehow won the battle with only 20 HP left. I would have died if my clones didn't help me. Anyways, more rewards for me. It took us 4 hours to obtain D4C, and evolve it into D4C Love Train. The obtainment methods are very similar to other JoJo games, but the fact that they added a boss in the desert made it more interesting. Consider leaving a like if you enjoyed this video. Subscribe if you don't want to miss out on any of my uploads. I shall see you in the next video. Goodbye.